This is 8 News Now at 4. And now I got friends with low platelets where the nosebleeds flow and prednisone chases my bruise away. Yeah, that Z-Dog MD who has millions of views on YouTube. And yes, he is a real doctor. In fact, he has a clinic in downtown Las Vegas called Turntable Health, which uses a membership model to make sure patients get one-on-one -on -one time with a doctor without the long wait. Dr. Zubin Demania is here. Do you prefer Dr. Demania or Z-Dog? You, you know, in Canada, they call me Z-Dog, so whatever, yeah. uh, whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> I love your videos. It's fantastic. Thank okay, we've got, we've got two cases of measles here in southern Nevada, over 100 in 14 different states across the country. What is the best defense against measles? I mean, clearly it's vaccination. It's always been vaccination since the vaccine came out. And it's really heartbreaking to see a, sort of us backsliding now into a time when measles is resurgent in the U.S. Uh, so we really can't can't overemphasize how important vaccination is. Let's talk about booster shots for adults. Now, how often do people need to be vaccinated against measles? Is it that one time, that one measles shot you get when you're a kid? For most people, that's okay. Some people need a second shot, particularly healthcare workers, people who are traveling. And then some people into adulthood really need to check their blood titers of how well that, that shot is working and see if they need a booster. For example, my wife, a healthcare worker, when she got pregnant, they tested her levels, they were negative. Mm -hmm. So even though she'd been vaccinated, she needed to be revaccinated after the pregnancy because you can't get it during the pregnancy. So there are subtleties, very important to talk to your doctor. I'm guessing that I was vaccinated for measles, but my doctor is long gone, along with those records, I assume. You know, they're out there somewhere. Is it safe to go ahead and get another measles vaccination if you've already had one and you don't know if you had or not? Uh, it is, it is, um, and especially if you don't know. Now, they can do blood tests to see if you're immune, and that's one way you can find out whether you're already okay. Mm -hmm. What would you do to, to, uh, to make it easier? Just, just get another vaccine if, you're, if you have a doubt whether you've been vaccinated If I had a doubt, I'd talk to my doctor and see if I either want to do the blood test or get the other vaccine. Honestly, me, I love vaccination so much. I look like the guy from <laughs> Hellraiser. I've just got needles all in my face. So I, I would get it again, but I think it's very important to talk to your doctor about it because there's some people who can't yeah. be vaccinated, people with severe immune deficiency. Efficiency, right. et cetera. Right. Now, so many people these days don't have a primary care position. They get sick. They go to the urgent care. What's the problem with that? Well, the problem is it, it's not really care. It's sick care. It's not prevention. So, for example, in our clinic, we're focusing on seeing people when they're well and when they're sick, getting to know them, developing a relationship, 30-minute visits, an hour visits, that kind of thing. And when you develop that relationship, you have a trusted source who can parse what you're reading on the Internet. So, you know, some, something on the Internet that you read about measles causing, measles vi uh, vaccine causing autism, you can debunk it quickly with a doctor who has time to spend with you. We really enjoy your videos, doctor. You, you do these great videos. Oh, why do you do these? I mean, you, you, you play these crazy characters, but they're so effective. It's really about vengeance. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I was at Stanford for 10 years in this very broken system, and I just wanted to do something to educate patients on their terms. Mm -hmm. And it, it just makes me happy to do that. I really enjoy it. Thank you so much for coming. We know you're crazy busy. Turntable Health downtown, and you, you, your practice is growing. It is. So that's fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Ted, over to you. All right. First off, I want him as my doctor <laughs> immediately. Get his number for me.